So today I went to Asakusa with uh, Hashimoto-san and it was fun. It was it was very fun, you know, many shops. It's like, ooh, yay. And so many women wearing the kimono and then the man wearing the male version. So that was nice, like, ah, oh, so pretty. So it's like, you know, like, oh, I'm filming it. it, it Oh, everything was like, no, no, I'm filming you. I'm just not making it. It's like, I, I just want to, yeah, so pretty. So, so very pretty. Um, so that was nice. But one thing that it seems to be a thing, or maybe I'm just in super bad luck, but they were, okay, okay fine. Uh, we didn't go there until the afternoon because I did my crafts thingy uh, earlier. But still, but six o'clock, they closed down. So we basically just arrived we basically just arrived and we were there for like 40 minutes and then it was getting stressed they were like yeah we're closing down in like 10 minutes so hurry up basically it's like seriously i would have wanted to go around a lot more and see much more uh, and not rush uh, because there were some stores at the beginning it's like oh i want to go back to those because i i regretted not going into them so it's like oh let's go back later it's like there is no later it's closing down like seriously it's six it's six and i know that me and my friends usually talk about that hey in sweden everything closes down so early but here it's even worse or maybe like i said maybe i'm just in super bad luck but um but the thing is the good thing is that I'm not stressed about it, nor is I, nor am I sad about it. Because I'm here for three months. I'm gonna come back to the Tokyo area-ish. And if I really want to, I, I can go back to Asakusa. And I can uh, go back to Shinjuku, which I really feel I haven't really seen. Uh, we basically walked past it, but not really into it. Um, but I had a Duke we really saw, but I still want to go back there because it was it was so awesome. Um, but it, there's not this stress. If this would have been a two or two week vacation, it would have been like, oh yeah, we gotta see this now. No, they're closing down, and then I would have been disappointed and sad and annoyed about it. Uh, so my recommendation is to just go to Japan for three months then there will be no stress about it <laughs> from me to you that's my recommendation um no but no, but seriously like i don't have much planned like i'm coming here and then things have just popped up every day now it's like yeah i'm, I'm busy i i don't want to be this busy honestly i i want some free day when not much happens because I need to take it, relax a little bit and read my books and things like that. No, but I honestly think that it's, it's important to have fun. Because now I can just be here for today, in this moment, having fun. We walked past this, I've forgotten the name of it, but the white little not bread thing with the sweet bean paste inside. We just walked past and like, hey, do you want? Like, I want, yeah, yeah, should we buy? And then, then we bought it. And just, just like that, and then just sitting, eating it and not rushing to get to uh, Asakusa and, you know, all these shops just to, to see everything. It's like, no, there's no rush. Just, uh, I think it's very important. Uh, and of course, I'm, I know I'm very lucky to have three months. <laughs> it's so funny when I, I tell people uh, when they... Um, like the, the Japanese people when they ask me like oh how long are you gonna stay and I'm like <laughs> uh, <sangatsu kan> <laughs> they're like three months three three months I'm like yes <laughs> uh, because they're so surprised and I understand because generally you don't go as a tourist for you know either you go for like a year or you go for a few weeks or one week or things something like that um, but I feel very lucky to have, be able to see so much of Japan and experience so much of it um, without having to stress about it. I think it's really amazing. Oh, and I just, <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it because there's no point in sh showing you random things I have bought, but look at this. I bought this in Harajuku. It's, I wore it today. It's so pretty, it's so shiny, it's so glittery. I fucking love it. I saw it and I was like, I need this. And this was the only one. I don't know if it was the last one or the one they had. And it's like, it's mine now. 
It's mine now. Uh, I can love it. Yeah, and at the crafts place, they were super nice and super friendly. It was fun. We, we made some small talk and <laughs> one thing, I saw said so stupid, but <laughs> I, I, I thought I thought it was really funny. I'm so funny today. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so to paint the wood, uh, I need to paint it like twice with this color. Um, so I, the, I got this little bowl of paint uh, and then I painted my wood thingy. Um, but then the paint, what, what, I, I, it took slut. Färgen took slut. The paint uh, was no longer there because I had used all of it. So it's like, I wanted to ask, can I get some more paint? But I don't know how to say paint or can I get some more? And I was like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck. Uh, what's the closest thing to saying that I want more? <laughs> so what what I did was that uh, I um, I took this this little bowl, and then I was like, okay, <laughs> because when um, and she 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 was laughing her ass off basically, uh, because I, I'm I'm quite sure I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm quite sure you cannot use okay, uh, in in that sense, um, like that because you usually use it when you're eating food and you've eaten your first plate and then ah oh, you want some more you want seconds like ah oh, can i have some more food but i say it basically can i have some more paint to eat uh that was that was very funny um but they were super nice and they were so cute and yeah it, it was really fun i loved doing crafts and things like that so it was it was super fun and tomorrow i leave for uh, next place so i'm gonna go to gunma so that's uh, it's so nice actually when I wrote to her. She's um, she's one of the newer ones I had contact with because I had a gla at Glapp um, some days here where I did not have a host. So she's the most recent host I've actually spoken to on the couch sur surfing, and it's so funny because when I wrote to her and I read her profile, I was like, she has lived in Sweden for a year. So that's funny because. <laughs> okay, I, I'm from Sweden. Not many people come here. It's it's not that common. It, it's not like it's not like Japan where everyone wants to go. It, it's like eight out of ten people want to go to Japan. Like, pretty much. I I don't know, but but I assume. But it's not like everyone wants to go to Sweden. They definitely not live there for a year. So I think that's very fun. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna m meet up with uh, her next. So uh, that's gonna be fun. And it's kind of crazy because I thought about it. Hashimoto-san said the same thing as well. Uh, but now I've been here for a week. Uh, it's Sunday today and I arrived this Monday. So technically it's a week tomorrow, but I'm just gonna be here and... I've actually cleaned up very much today. It's 12 o'clock. I just wanna go to sleep. I'm super tired, but... Um... I'm not gonna have I'm gonna be super stressed tomorrow if I don't start fixing things now so I've done that um, and tomorrow is just gonna be packing and then I'm just gonna go to Gunma so it's not gonna be any adventure time uh, tomorrow um, but um, it's so crazy it's like yeah it's it's seven uh, no, no creepy little girl crawling out of the TV, but <laughs> uh, but but it's been seven days nevertheless, and it's so crazy because it feels it feels like I have been here for months. It feels like I have been here for maybe like two months. It's crazy to think oh, it's just a handful of days, and I try uh, I try to <laughs> like sometimes I think about my Swedish friends. For them, it's just you know some days have passed. It's been another week, but for me, it's. It's been crazy. I've been to Shinju uh, Shinjuku, Harajuku, Asakusa. Uh, I've seen Mount Fuji. I've met so many people, and uh, it, it's just been do 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 <laughs> so much. Um, it, yeah, it, it, it's it's crazy. It's, it's only been seven days. Uh, it's it's gonna be, so I have eight days left it, it's it's just I, I'm, I'm still on week one you know i have barely begun um yeah i'm starting to repeat myself sorry um and one funny thing i've started to experience is now like ah okay now i get all my students in a in a whole new way because before my i, I was wondering if 
if I am between A2 level or B1, but now being here, I realize that I am probably actually closer to B1. Well, I am B1 rather than A2. Because now actually practicing and realizing that I can speak, you know, just gave me the confidence to kind of realize and to use the words I do know. Um, so now I'm at B2 and I can kind of talk, well, I can talk, I can make myself understood. But it's, it's this, um, yeah, I can talk, I can make myself understood, but how do I start to speaking more, how do I start to speak? How do I start to speak more correctly? Uh, this is not going to be fun for the majority of you, so I'm not going to go into this. But uh, as a teacher, I think this is very interesting because I have so many students that uh, they are at good level, but they still make mistakes, but they can't really get out of that and improve and go over to the next step. And now, uh, because I, I've been at a lower level at Japanese, so I, ha I haven't reached that stadium uh Stadium that's also the stadiet själv, so I haven't reached that same level myself yet, but now I have, so now I can really understand it in a different way, which is super good because when I can understand and relate, I can do something about it and also see, okay, now I'm here. Um, and since I am a language teacher, I also know kind of what to do about it, so I'm gonna do that and then I will improve and then I can t tell my students how to do you know, from my own experience, not just, ah, oh, I've read it somewhere on the internet, but no, no, been there, done that. Um, but that's just interesting to me. Before I went, I prepared a lot of uh, omiyage, like for every family I was going to live with. And if they have kids or a husband or a wife, I prepared one because I can't just give one and not to the other, the, the, the spouse. <laughs> so then I made double. Uh, and then I made like seven eight extras or something just in case and that, that has proved out proved out that has turned out to be super good um because i have used them i have given them to people and uh, these three uh friends i met in harajuku uh, three people that became my friends uh, i didn't plan to meet them but i did uh, and i had lots of extra omiyage so they were super happy uh, one of them, um, she got a, a small Toblerone, like chocolate, uh, and she was so happy. But she's like, oh, I went to France once and I ate this and it was so good. And now she get, <laughs> gets to taste it again. And I was like, yay, good for you. Um, so um, if, if you are going to Japan, um, well, first, congrats for watching these 13 minutes <laughs> of me talking about it. I don't even know. I'm tired, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm very tired. Låt mig vara. Men, um, but I recommend that you do the same. Because I, I, it's a great gesture. And if it's something edible, well, anyone can enjoy pretty much. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that, that I did. Because it's nice to be able to give something to the people being nice to you because they're like oh you know su surprised um so that's nice now i think that was all i had for today just some thoughts um and i know i talked about it before uh but i'm, I'm, I'm starting <laughs> you know i finally know where i live <laughs> and i know the area around here and got uncomfortable with it and i want to try out that arcade it's, it's literally right by Bubai Gavara station. If you just you go out of the station and then you go to the left. Well, I, I take the KO line and then when you go out to the left. If you see McDonald's when you come out, you're at the right place. And then if you turn left, there's this um, arcade place. Uh, I never got to try it out. And tomorrow I'm probably not going to have the time because, like I said, I need to fix and pack. Yeah, my, and, and wash. So. Uh, um, but but the, like I said, it's also what's nice that oh, I didn't have time to do everything, but th that's all, all right. I can always come back and maybe I will come back here another time, another day, another year, another life. Who knows? Um, <laughs> nah, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's crazy and it's kind of, it, it, it's not scary that that would be a lie. And now I'm lying to you. I'm a horrible person because I was, I was going to say that it's... Uh, it's scary, but it's not. I'm, now I'm not scared. Now I'm so comfortable being here and I know that I can fix the 
train ticket and bus ticket because it's no problem. Um, so so that, that that's fine. But it's I've just gotten used to this place and it was very nice being here. And now I have to go to another place which I don't know with people I don't know. And how how is that going to be? Or the, how are they going to be? Are we going to well not not connect but but you know is it gonna be nice are they gonna be nice people are we gonna get along and things like that but it's also gonna be nice to see some other place um which is also why i'm traveling around so much it's so fun to be able to see all of japan <laughs> it's so funny uh, one of the mm, girls when we were in harajuku she said like eh? <laughs> like you will have been around more in japan than me and i am japanese um but it's kind of the same with Sweden. I mean, how many of to all you Swedes watching, how many of you have actually been in, for example, well, both Helsingborg, Skåne, that, that area, you know, the very south, kind of, and also been to Kiruna? Most people I don't, most people I know have not been to Kiruna. It's like, it's very pretty uh, if you go to Kiruna, visit Spice. Um or like the ice hotel and you you know things Sweden are kind of famous for but which most people like most Swedish people have never seen or done same with Tre Riksdraset um, where Norway Finland and Sweden meet at this that one point uh, I went there uh, but it's kind of the same thing we d we are we don't travel around in our own country so it's fun when I when, when the Japanese people say that um, yeah, but it's... Oh, God, I'm just talking. I'm tired. I should not be allowed to do this when I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, but... Ashita atarashi no boken ga matimas. A new adventure is waiting for me tomorrow. And with that, good night, goodbye, mata atode, see you later.